My name is Adrian Campa and I'm here at a vocational nursing program. Uh, with vocational nursing, you pretty much learn the same skill set as a nurse. Um, nurses are often able to administer IV medications and the vocational nurse is oftentimes only able to administer up to IM injections, intramuscular injections. But our main role is usually to assist the nurse. We kind of work under a nurse. Uh, we do have some autonomy, but they, um, they manage like the higher level of care. When students graduate from our program, they can work anywhere, sky's the limit. There is a lot of job openings for them. They can work in a skilled nursing facility. They can also do home health. They can work in a lot of outpatient clinics or they can work in long-term care facilities, not only for geriatric, for peds as well. So there's a lot of opportunities for our VN students. Most of the time when VN students graduate from our program, it's a stepping stone for other things. If this is just for them to get introduced into the medical field, a lot of them go back and get their ADN or BSN, or they work and then they go back to school. But this is just a stepping stone for other things to come for them. I started as an emergency medical technician, um, and I kind of observed nurses, and I really wanted to go into the nursing field. And for me, this is the first step in going in that direction. I chose community college. Of course, it's usually it's more cost effective. It's usually more affordable. Another thing that makes community colleges so attractive, in my opinion, is the student to instructor ratio. If you go to a UC school, you can be one instructor for 300 students. But over here in our program, it's two instructors for, for 30 students. So you do know your students very well. And so we can see their progression throughout the program.